Are you a JavaScript developer and you are looking for an easy way to create and train an image detection model? And you would like to use it afterwards in a browser session locally? If yes, then this is the right video for you. Hi, my name is Sascha. Welcome to my channel. If this is your first time here and you want to learn more about machine learning, advanced analytics and cloud computing, start now by subscribing to this channel and don't forget to click on the bell so you don't miss anything. TensorFlow.js is a great framework to use existing machine learning models locally in your browser session. And you can also use Node.js to do more things like for example training your model. But defining a model structure and training the model afterwards, testing it, doing the evaluation is quite a complex task. Therefore, I would like to show you a different way. I'd like to use a cloud service called Custom Vision to train the model, export the model and then use it in your browser. So without further ado, let's dig right into the code. If you haven't seen the previous video about the tuberculosis detector I created, I would like to give you a brief introduction what I created last time. So as you can see, that's my web application and this is meant to use x-ray images to detect if somebody might have tuberculosis or not. So yes, this is just a demo application for image detection and nothing special for medical purposes. So let's pick a sample picture, for example, from a patient who hasn't got tuberculosis. Click open, click predict, and it's showing that with a 93.07 percentage probability, this patient might have no tuberculosis, and let's pick another picture and predict with a 99.19% probability that patient has tuberculosis. So that's more or less the UI, but let's also view what I created behind the scenes. Last time I used Node.js to train a TensorFlow.js model. This is more or less the web application just using Twitter Bootstrap to visualize a few things and especially import the TensorFlow.js framework as well as two local JavaScript files, one which contains only the target classes. So zero means normal, one means tuberculosis. And of course, the main JavaScript file which contains all the business logic. Like for example, what happens if somebody selects an image when the site has been loaded, it will automatically load the model from the model.json file, which is in the end pointing to the weight spin, which you see in that folder. And last but not least, if somebody clicks on the predict button, the selected image will be converted to a tensor, then resized, converted to float values, divided by 255, so in the end normalizing the grayscale picture, and last but not least, flatten down uh, the dimensions. This is more or less exactly the same thing which has been done while training the model in the end. Then it's calling the predict method. And last but not least, showing the values in the right order if somebody might have tuberculosis or not. This is still the top five because of previous samples, but yeah, it will only return two in the end. And then displaying the whole thing. So that's what the whole application is doing. But again, training such a model might be pretty complex doing that in Node.js with defining the structure of the model and so on. That's why I would like to show you another option, in this case, the customvision.ai service, which is at least for getting started free of charge. And if you create more complex models, use it in production and so on, then this starts costing some money. Well, let's start with a free version. So I sign in with my Microsoft account. Yes, these are my previous projects, but I want to create a new one, call it YouTube tuberculosis, no special description. Yeah, I'm using an existing SKU, that's okay. So custom vision demos. I want to do classification. I want to use a single tag per image. So no multi-label multi classifications and a general or no specific model I want to start with. But I need to do one thing because I want to export that. And, and for that reason, I need to pick a compact model and tell it that I want to use the export capabilities in the basic formats. So I create a new project. After that has been created, I can start uploading my images. And I'm using already some images from Kaggle and I will provide you all the relevant links, the source code, the link to those images, as well as the link to the custom vision AI service in the description of that video. 
And as you can see, there are plenty of images in the train folder and the one which end with zero are the patients with no tuberculosis and the ones which have uh, one at the end are the patients with tuberculosis. So let's select all those images for normal patients. Here we go, click open. And I can also provide a tag in here or more tags if I selected a multi-label option and upload those 315 images. And up next, I want to add more images. In this case, the ones with tuberculosis, uploading those as well and specify the second tag called tuberculosis and upload those images. Perfect. So I uploaded those two sets and then I can start the training by clicking on that button. Quick training is free of charge. Advanced training starts costing money and I can specify things like what's the maximum amount of time I'm allowing it to train, so up to 24 hours. Uh, please send me an email when the training has completed, but quick training is for this sample good enough. So let's click on that and it's starting the training process and done. So currently the training was pretty fast and delivers a precision of 76.3% recall of 76.3%, which is good enough at least for that example. And what I can do after I trained that is I can click on, for example, quick test, select a local file, Let's pick one from the testing set and it's telling me with a 99.9% .9 probability this is a normal tag, which is true. Let's pick one from the tuberculosis patients and this one has with a 99.5% probability is a picture from a tuberculosis patient. So it looks good. I could, for example, because this is iteration one and I could deploy that as an API in, in that service, but in my case, I want to export the created model and I can export that in various formats because I want to use that in TensorFlow.js. I pick the TensorFlow as a TensorFlow.js model and export the model to my local drive. Well, let me download that. Here we go. It was around about four megabytes. And let me extract that zip file. And the zip file contains, again, a model JSON, a weight spin, which is around about four megabyte, uh, five megabytes and some further information. This is more or less a JSON file which contains information about the training process itself, which I don't need on the website later on. And this is just a text file with all the relevant labels. Um, I created already a JSON file for that, so I don't need that as well. I just need those two files. And let's move those two files to my project, just copying them to the right folder, so in static, model, paste. Yes, replace those two files. Here we go. And then move to my web application again. Refresh the site. This is loading the model now. And that should fail because this is a completely different model. So to be able to run that page now, I need to change a little bit of the code. So let's go right into the code. And first of all, this is not a layers model. This is a graph model. So let's switch that to graph. Up next, of course, the resize and so on needs to be adjusted to what I did in the training. And this is just 224 by 224 image. Then I have to first expand the dimensions, convert them to float and don't have to normalize them, but reverse the order because this is not an RGB format. This is first blue, then green, and then red, so a BGR format. So I have to reverse that. Again, convert them, expand that, put it to float, then reverse the order of the channels. And just to be on the safe side, let's fix that to three channels. So that should be it. Everything looks fine. Let's save that, switch back to the application and reload that. So now it loads fine. So let's pick my sample images, yeah, anything like that one. Click on predict. And this is a normal patient, looks good. And pick one with tuberculosis. That looks <laughs> 
too good <laughs> to be honest but that looks good as well and i'm going to upload that code as well as the model which i created to github and put everything to the description so you can test everything i created that was easy wasn't it and if you haven't seen the video about training a model with node.js i'm going to add the link to that video right here and I'm also interested in your opinions, your thoughts, your ideas. So please use the comment section below to share them with me. And if you'd like that video, please give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel. So, see you soon!